I haven't done the food shopping with my children in ages, it feels like. And today I'm taking four of them to the shops. So wish me luck. Welcome back to my channel everybody and to another grocery vlog. So it is May half term and I have all the children at home with me today. So I'm going to Lidl to get our groceries and I have promised them a bakery treat if they are good. So let's head on into the store, grab a trolley and go and see what yummy treats they've got for us. Now, if you're new around here, my name's Claire, I've got three children and I'm from Hampshire in the UK and I do grocery hauls every week along with a lot of other family life content and meals of the week videos. So if that's your sort of thing, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and then you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. So we are in Lidl now and the kids are picking out their donuts. Um, please stay tuned to the end of this video to find out exactly how much this haul cost me um, and what our meal plan for the next week is. Um, I'm finding that the weekly shop is going up in price, especially as I'm trying to make more health conscious decisions, although that doesn't sound very good when we're picking out like bakery treats, um, but I am trying to be more mindful with what we buy and make healthier choices and that unfortunately is just costing more and more money, um, it's just insane. So yeah, it's, it's just, it is what it is. Um, so yeah, I hope that you like this grocery vlog. I hope that you're all doing really well wherever you are, that you're having a good week, that you are having a good weekend, whatever day you might be watching this. Um, and let's get into the haul and see what we got this week. As you can imagine, the donuts and things did not last until we got home. They ate them all as soon as we got out of the shop. So they aren't included in my haul, but I will put the price on the screen when I get home and let you know how much the bakery items did cost. Okay, so I've got to very quickly put the fridge and freezer things away because I'm going out and I'm running so, so late. Uh, guys, can you just keep the noise down a little bit? So, um, yeah, so I bought six pints of milk um, from Lidl. These were on offer, thankfully, like 60 something P each. And Lily loves these because they just look, I don't know, it's the packaging. It's the packaging she loves, which is why she loves these yogurts. Um, I've got the creamy split pot biscuit yogurt. Hang on a minute, Lily, for me and Gareth. Um, a medium cheese, some chorizo to for the kids to snack on. What's the matter? You banged your arm. Well, you keep hurting yourself today, don't you? You've got to be careful, darling. Um, for people to snack on and to put on pizzas. Um, beef and pork mince because I couldn't remember. I'm doing a bolognese for dinner tonight, and I didn't know if I got any meat out or in the freezer. Um, I still don't know, so I just thought I'd better buy it and we'll use it anyway. Um, I've also bought a big family pack of pork loin steaks, which will get used as well. I really like pork and I don't buy it that often. Um, for sandwiches, I've picked, the, picked up these simply cooked chicken breast slices. So I, I don't care what anybody says, eating healthily costs more, costs, costs more money. It's ridiculous. Because um, buying a cheap bag of ham isn't two pound. Um, I've also got some reduced fat hummus to have with some falafel. Bought myself some falafel. Um, I think Gareth will like this too. They're good to just snack on. Um, eight sausage rolls for the children and for Gareth. And then I got some frozen sweet corn because we always need sweet corn or quite often need sweet corn. And instead of buying ice cream in a tub this week, I got these um, gelatelli sandwich classics because Charlie went for a play date recently at his friend's house and she had these and he wanted them and also got some rocket lollies because my kids love a rocket lolly um, and then we're going to Portons Park this weekend so on the Saturday evening when we get back because yeah we're going on Friday staying at a hotel overnight and then we're going back into the park on Saturday but we're going to need to eat dinner when we get home on Saturday. So I'm just going to chuck some pizzas in the oven. So I've got three of these for the children. And there is a frozen stick of garlic bread already in the freezer. And I've got these for me and Gareth. And I'm just going to put more cheese on the pizzas and some of the chorizo slices. 
and we like sweet corn on our pizzas as well and then they will be a nice quick easy dinner and i don't think i've also been trying to buy things that are um not ultra processed so like i've been looking at the ingredients on everything to check that like you know most of the ingredients on there are ones that you would be able to find in a the kitchen they don't all look you know, chemically um so yeah i just i'm really trying to be healthy i'm really trying to keep it on a budget i'm really trying to be more mindful about what we're, what we're eating and what we're buying but it costs more money whatever way you look at it it costs more money to be healthier but anyway this is the freezer and the chilled stuff i'm going to chuck this away i'm going to go out i'll come back later and do the rest of it because it's currently ta -da, all over my kitchen floor um yeah i'm just it took a lot longer to do the shopping today because i had four children with me okay so it is now very much later in the day it's like half past five and i've managed to put all of this stuff out so i've already gone through my chilled stuff and my frozen bits and the kids are all enjoying an ice lolly so i'll start over here quickly and um, i will say everything i've bought did cost under a hundred pounds but i forgot to buy cherry tomatoes and um, I'm sure there was one other thing I forgot as well, which may have just tipped over 100. But it's insane. Like, it is insane. Eating healthier or more consciously is more expensive. But also, like, a lot of the stuff I've bought is just, like, regular stuff. So it's just expensive. Um, anyway, there's nothing I can do about it. So I might as well not complain. Right. Um, we're going away this weekend. We've booked a Paulton's prop. Well, let me just say that again a portons park short break um booked it ages ago for the children so friday and saturday that is where we're going to be um so for the hotel room we're saying one night i've got two bottles of still water because we're going to need water in the hotel room and then for the two park days that we're there i've picked up some bottled water for us to all take with us um i don't know if this will be enough or if we'll need to get some more who knows but there we go and um, for the home i have got two things of sparkling spring water because the kids like this with squash or orange or apple juice um i've picked up some of this all-purpose cleaner because i've literally just run out of it and i use this for everything um got two packets of the tissues because they're a really good price one for the bedroom one for the living room i should have bought one for the boys room or the kids room actually i keep calling it the boys room and it's not because it's lily's bedroom as well but for the kids room but i forgot um i've got two packets of baby wipes so they'll last us for a little while and i've got two packets of the kids moist toilet tissues picked up two different kinds uh one's fragrance one's sensitive i just picked them up melon that's nice just picked them up so i didn't even think um i've got two things of simply toilet tissue because we ran out yesterday and had to <laughs> borrow a roll from a friend well not borrow but they gave it to us um because they certainly don't want it back um simply kitchen towels because i've just run out of that as well um and then moving over to here lily has insisted in Lidl that she likes these so she will be eating them um but, you know, if you've been around here for a while, you know what Lily's like. So who knows if she'll eat them or not. Um, I got a box of the kids' favourite chocolate hazelnut pillows. I love these too, so does Gareth. Um, I bought these for Gareth to take to work because they're cheaper than the choco hazelnut pillows. And also they're really nice. So I thought Gareth could take those to work. And Charlie and me really like them. So I've got another box of home. And Lily is all out of her chocolate nut pillows from Tesco. So I thought because we were there and they were only a pound, um, I'd get some, top them up in the cupboard. Um, I bought these, which are 95p from Tesco, but they're not for us. They're for my niece, Ariana, who was shopping with us today. And she said that she was nearly out of them at home. And she was a bit upset because she's running out of her Weetabix, which is like her favourite thing. So I bought some more for her. So I need to give those to my sister tomorrow. Um... And then also from Tesco, I got these fruit twists. Um, there's only two left now because Zach and Ariana and Charlie all had one. Is there two? Or, no, there's three. Five packs. Who didn't have one then? I don't know. But yeah, they've been opened anyway and some of the kids have had them. Um, and they like them in their lunch boxes or for their lunches. £2.35 those, those were, which I don't know. I don't know if I was conned or what, I don't know, but I bought them for them. Because um, they're like a healthier snack rather than junk. Um, I bought from Lidl Simply Orange Juice, Simply Apple Juice. Um, back in Tesco, I got the big pack of the Strawberry Bear Yo-Yos for Fussy Lily. And in Lidl, I picked up the Pure Fruit Wind-Ups for my boys. Um, and a thing of Tomato Passata. 
and I'm not planning on doing anything with the coconut milk this week but when I do make a curry I'll be using coconut milk so I thought I'd get one when I saw it I got British sweet mixed peppers because um trying to eat more fruit and veg and Charlie will eat all of these colors and so will I I just don't like the green ones so I got those ones this week um I picked up a pack of the little simply roasted and salted peanuts a because they're cheaper than cashews and I like peanuts so there we go um I picked up now these have got no artificial colors or no artificial yeah colors or preservatives or MSG in so I thought they probably seemed okay um chili con carne mix a sausage casserole mix just because sometimes I can't be bothered to put everything in and a beef casserole mix just when I'm feeling uninspired of what to cook um I got two packs I'm going to put one in the freezer of scotch pancakes and they were stick it up 30% cheaper they were 34p I guess because their date's coming up yeah 31st of May so I've got two packs of those um I got some Brayburn apples and some fun size British apples now I'll give these ones to the children and I'll eat these ones probably um because these might be like crispier and juicier or whatever for the children because they're quite fussy with apples I picked up a lettuce a cucumber and some celery because I'm making bolognese tonight and I um is it called a sofritu I don't know how you say it a sofritu where you do carrots onions and celery as like a base for a dish so I'm doing a bolognese tonight but also Gareth likes celery just in salads and I'll just like give them chunks that take to work um I forgot tomatoes though so no tomatoes in our salads this week um I've got some red onions for a change because I usually get white um the Heinz by Nature fruit medley custards in Tesco for Lil's and also they had no penne pasta in Lidl so I got that from Tesco and then in Lidl I got red seedless grapes and a punnet of plums because I love plums uh, my kids don't won't try them but I really like them um I got 15 British eggs I don't normally buy from cage tens but they were already there so it's already happened and I can't do anything about it personally. I know that I can vote with my wallet and buy the other ones and usually I do but everything is really expensive at the moment and I just picked them up so please don't judge me too harshly. I do my best and I hardly ever buy eggs from cage hens. I have moved away from that even though me changing my per my like purchasing options isn't going to change legislation. It needs to start from the top in my opinion um, but there we go. Um... I don't agree with caged hens at all. It's horrible, but I just I just need to feed the family. Um, and I'm doing more baking as well, so I'm going to need, to be, need more eggs. Um, Demerara sugar for making flapjacks and things. And also, I think I'm just going to stop buying white sugar because this is slightly less processed, slightly less refined. Um, I'm baking lots of bread in my bread maker. So and I need to find a way of baking a loaf of bread. Hang on a minute, chops. And then slicing it. Because like, in the bread maker, it's really hard to slice it. Like You can't make sandwiches with it. At least I can't. If anyone's got any tips on how to slice homemade bread, do let me know. Um, I need to figure that out. So I've got some strong wholemeal bread flour and white bread flour. And I'm going to do like a half and half so we get a bit more healthy than just white. Um, a can of chopped tomatoes and a can of baked beans. Um, now this. I don't know if this is like barbecue sauce or if this is Tesco's like version of it. I've got no idea what it's going to taste like. Is it going to be like brown sauce, which I don't know what that tastes like, or is it going to be a bit barbecuey, or is it going to be Charlie? You can play on the PC, but you could have waited till I was finished, though, couldn't you? Um, yeah, I don't know what this is going to be like, so I'll try it. It was only a pound, I think. Um, I I did compare the ingredients on the back to so like the Heinz barbecue sauce, and they're all very similar. So we'll find out what that's like, won't we? Um, in Lidl, I got tomato ketchup because my kids get through it quite quickly, and, and then I forgot to buy any may mayonnaise in um, our Lidl, so I picked it up in Tesco. And in Lidl, I got these mini iced rings because I'm trying to be more healthy with the kids' snacks, and these have got no artificial colors or flavors or preservatives or hydrogenated fats so there we go um multigrain bites of sweet chili i got these in Lidl for me and gareth and then i got lily her prawn cocktail six pack of crisps um i didn't actually get crisps for the boys so I guess they're not having crisps this week um or any popcorn um chocolate spread from tesco and they had no other cheap chocolate in Lidl so I had to get the Miss Molly's stuff from 
Tesco, and this has gone up in price. It used to be 36p, and now it's 43p. Um, so yeah, and I've I've just opened it and had a few little squares. Um, 10 milk brioche rolls, because Zach loves these. And eight chocolate chip brioche rolls. I'm sorry, I'm yawning. <gasps> I'm getting tired. Um, chocolate chip brioche rolls for the two little ones. So yeah, that plus the freezer stuff, plus the fridge bits, that all came to just under £98 or just over £98. I will put the total on the screen now and I'll go for my meal plan with you. Right, so this is in no particular order, um, but tonight is Tuesday, so I'm going to do a bolognese for dinner tonight, which is why I bought the beef and chicken, no, not beef and chicken, beef and pork mince to do that. Um, then another night I'm going to do chicken legs with homemade bread rolls and salad and rice. Um, another night, I think probably tomorrow, I'm going to, I'm going to have a tuna salad because Gareth isn't here, he's over at his grandparents'. And the kids will just have like, I don't know, sausages and beans and garlic bread, so easy, or cheese toasties or something like that, quite easy. Um, Friday, we're at Portons Park, woohoo! We're all so excited. Um, so we're gonna be eating out that night. And then Saturday, we're coming home after our day in the park. So I've just bought pizzas, as you've seen at the beginning of the haul, that's what I'm gonna chuck in the oven when we get home. Um, and yeah, we get breakfast at the hotel included, so hopefully we'll have a nice big breakfast and we'll have to get some lunch at the park. Um, but yeah, we're all really looking forward to that um, little weekend getaway, I suppose. Um, and then another night, I have got potatoes in the, like baby potatoes, new potatoes in the fridge. And I'm gonna do, um, if you saw my last week's haul or the week before, it was, might have been a week or so ago, maybe a couple of hauls ago, I bought a bunch of Mexican, like Spanishy Mexican seasoning things, like sachets from Lidl. Um, or was it Aldi? I think it might have been Aldi actually, when um, they had like a Spanish special on. So I've got some it's a very, very long winded way of telling you, I'm gonna do patatas bravas with salad, chorizo slices, and um, some red rolls for the kids. Yeah, put that in the recycling, Lily, well done. Good girl. It's really hard to concentrate when you've got children eating things like down here at you. Um, and then another night, I'm just gonna do fish fingers with mash and veg and then chicken nuggets or whatever for the ones that don't eat fish fingers or mash. So yeah, that's my meal plan for like the next seven days. That takes me back around to next Monday and then I'll know what day I can do the food shopping because I'll have seen my work schedule. So I do hope that you've enjoyed this um, this food haul. I do feel like it's been a little bit disjointed just because like, I've been out for the afternoon since coming home. Um, we went and met my friend and her children in a local country park that was really lovely. And like the weather's just been glorious, lovely, lovely sunshine. It's just been beautiful. It's like they've been just sat out there playing, like throwing piles of cut dried glass, grass, not glass, cut dried grass up in the air and just, just playing and loving life. And I popped off to the supermarket with Zach to buy us all some ice lollies and we had ice lollies in the sun. I just had a good catch up really. And the kids, the kids haven't seen each other for ages and ages because like they're all at school now. So I don't like get a chance to see my friend with all the kids together because like when we first became friends Zach was only three and Charlie was a newborn and like two of her kids were babies she's since had another one and she's got an older one so like they used to see each other quite regularly and then since everyone started school it's been harder to get them together for play dates so um, yeah it was really nice that they all got together after such a long time and they just got on like you know got on superbly well like house on fire so that was a lovely afternoon um I hope that you're all well and you know, having good weeks and everything. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do about the price of this food shopping. I just don't, I don't know if I can get it down. Um, I'm gonna have to try, because I don't wanna be spending a hundred pound a week. I just don't want to. Um, but things are going up all the time. And from all your comments, your what you say, I'm doing quite well. Um, because you, know, you all seem to be spending more. So maybe I'm, maybe my expectations are unrealistic. Um, but yeah, and while I'm here, I am going to, I've, I have been requested, so I've been a few video requests. One was how do I cook my rice? Um, and I have got that already and I just need to do like the voiceover for it and then I'll get that up. It's just a quick video, just like saying how I cook my rice. Um, another video request has been to show you what I'm doing in my bread maker. So today, I mean, I haven't obviously done anything yet, but I will, I will do some like videos on what I'm making in my bread maker, but I am gonna make some bread rolls um, for the children's lunches tomorrow in Gareth. So that's my dough. I'm going to get that out. 
it smells very nice and roll it and put it in the um oven to bake little rolls with and then another video have i had another video request oh yeah another one has been like can i do some more cooking videos and like preparing meals and things absolutely i will i will get on that um i've filmed a what i eat in a day recently so that will be coming soon to you and um oh my arm is aching holding this camera up oh my god um oh right i just don't feel like this is a very good angle for me though and then I turned my camera off because I'm not used to holding my phone like this, but my God, my arm is like really aching. Um, and so I thought, I will do a post of this. I don't know what way to look at the camera because the camera's on the other side. I'm just gonna have to suck it up. Just get an achy arm. Um, now that I'm over 2000 subscribers, thank you so much everybody, like that's just amazing. I will do a separate post um, for this as well. But I thought, seeing as these are like my most watched videos, um, would you guys like to see a couple's Q&A? I did ask that a few a few videos back and I got quite a positive response. So this video is me saying, yeah, we're gonna do a couple's Q&A. I have like convinced Gareth to do one with me. So if you have any questions, um, what you'd like answered, you don't ask us anything, pop them below. Um, look out for the posts I'm gonna do and put them in that post as well. And also if you wanna like DM me on Instagram, I, I think I, I didn't, when I did my previous q and A, didn't see a couple of questions in there. So I'll make a conscious effort to check my inbox if you wanna DM me there with any questions. But yeah, put them in the comments here. I'm gonna put a post up, I haven't got it up yet, but it will be coming, it's like announcing the Q and A, so put any questions there. Um, but yeah, I thought, you know, to celebrate getting to 2000 subscribers, that way we do a couple's Q&A so you can get to know us a bit better. So yeah, if you've got any questions for us, any burning questions you want to know, then um, yeah, ask us and um, we'll endeavour to answer them for you. So that is it. I've got to put this camera down because my arm is killing me. Um, so yeah, have a lovely week or rest of the week or weekend. I think I'm normally putting these up on a weekend now. I'm trying to stick to more of a schedule with my uploads. Um, Tuesday, Thursdays and like Saturday, Sunday depending on what I do. So um, I'm going to try and keep it a bit more regular and scheduled for you guys rather than ad hoc. Um, and yeah, have a lovely week and I'll see you in the next one. Take care everyone. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.